going to put them in the Zelda Dragon Dragons 2. Um, it's been a while since I've played this. This guy back there so they they gave me so ingredients are plentiful it's been a hereabouts. So shall we see if there's all to be found? Play this here. game. So we're gonna see what happens. But I'm gonna continue on the mission. Let's see right now. Look at this. And investigate all sovereign. Alright. So let's let's look at my map. What did he say his name was again? Ah, Humphrey. The lad's in Bournemouth now. He's eager. I'll give him that. Expedition, sword drills, say the word and he'll join in at a moment's notice. Say, you look experienced. You should talk to the lad. I'm sure he'll be glad of a bit of guidance. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. They can be most convenient, though they only travel during the day. This ox cart's bound for Melv. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. I'm not going. Staring arisen. Has aught yonder caught your eye? How do you get there? Well, that way, it was a cutoff. That way, it's a cutoff. Can't go nowhere. Are we taking a load off so soon? They've only just rested. Let us return once we've grown tired from our labors. Now there's a worthy prize. If only it weren't so far away. Preferred not to have to fight so soon. But at least I know I'm up to the Try not to get hit. There's no way to see him without a waste. Look out to 
risen. We're under attack. I'll gather this. It might be of use. In traversing other worlds, I came to know of a treasure chest in this area. Perchance you'd like to see it. Reach it.
You there. Are you looking to enter the village? You best go elsewhere, friend. What's wrong about this place? There's no business to be had here, that's for sure. That man just now seemed rather on edge. What could he have seen here to inspire such suspicion? Is that who I think it is? I, I reckon so. Rather more common looking than I'd expected. But I suppose that's neither here nor there. It's a question of skill. So you say, but you waited against our visitor, did you not? Not buying? No, that's not just as well. Me. Better to be selective than wasteful. The Arisen is ever prudent in the application of coin. be the visitor I've heard so much about. <clears throat> Have you some business here in the village? You would know of our village? As you can see, it is a simple place, tucked away on the eastern edge of Vermond. Is there all else I can help you with, sir? Arthur. <laughs> Tis a name unfamiliar to me, I'm afraid. At least, no one by that name lives here, sir. <laughs> As you like, sir. I thought you might like this, so I picked it up. Here you go. Greetings. I must say, I'm impressed by your intuition, sir. You found me out far sooner than most. I trust you are enjoying your sojourn in our fair village. If you have any questions, ask away. I should be glad to aid you. If aught about our humble village seems strange to you, that is easily explained. For it is here that thieves are instructed in the skills they require. To begin with, those who wander into the village are evaluated for their potential aptitude. Of course, you are no exception. That you stand here now is proof you were deemed a worthy candidate. Which is to say, you have my approval as the thief -maister. Is there aught else you care to ask? You're curious what I know of you? Quite a bit, I should think. Naturally, I'm not the only one. Our village has its own network of spies and informants, you see, and your title tends to make you stand out among the rumors we collect. You're the second arisen to come to Vermont, and you've allied yourself with Captain Brandt against the Queen Regent. In response, she's... Oops, I mustn't say another word. Don't misunderstand. I'm no ally of the Queen Regent. I merely strive to maintain neutrality in political matters. Those who deal in information must ne'er align themselves with a particular power. Such is our village code. Is there aught else you'd care to ask? Arthur, you say? Hmm. I've lived in this village many a year, but I can't say I've heard of someone by that name. My apologies. Is there aught else you'd care to ask? 
<clears throat> I take care then. You, sir, are worthy of inheriting my ultimate technique. Once mastered, it will allow you to fell all foes, both minuscule and mighty. Take it and do with it what you will. Our fortunes are looking up. All the more so if we sell this newfound prize. Whether or not we make the sale is for the Arisen to decide. Can't say I have any tidings to share. Don't bring trouble to my door. Nice seeing you about. You the outsider? The Lord spoke of you. Come on, follow me. I have something real nice to show you. <laughs> No doubt you're dazzled by my charms. They all are. Where's the girl went? That's in you. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in picking a few. Oh, you've a sharp eye. Suppose I ought not to have underestimated you, Sir Arisen. You wonder how I know? For starters, it isn't just me. The entire village recognizes you for what you are, cuz, not mysterious about it. We've our sources, and that's all I'm saying. But don't worry yourself. I'm actually on your side, in a sense. Can't offer you any help, though. Village code and all that. Still, I suppose I could give you a bit of advice. If I were you, I'd try doing to someone else what I was just doing to you. Know what I mean? I have a hefty wager riding on you, cuz. Don't let me down, eh? All that obscure advice only to depart with nary a word of explanation. Shall we try doing what she did to us, then? What she did to us? Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. If you must go off on your own, there's naught to be done. I only hope you'll return sooner rather than later.
But this game to be as wonky as it is, this part is very hard. It's going to be hard. What the?
need of me? You made it after all. Mm -hmm. Guess that means I win. Oi, you lot best pay up. Dear what? me. You didn't disappoint, did you? You've done well. Seems only fair I answer any questions weighing on you. Go on. Ask away. Figures you'd want to know about him. We're supposed to be neutral. Ordinarily, I wouldn't say a word about one of our jobs. But I suppose I can tell you, the situation being what is, his real name is Dora. He was one of us, once. But he's been exiled. We had no choice, see? After he went off to play the false arisen, we're men and women of shadow. Center stage isn't our place to stand. That's why he was cast out. He'll near be part of our village again. That all you wanted to ask? For all this, Dara was in line to become the next thief. But he failed. Took a massive injury to the chest during the trial. So the title fell to me. That's when he went off, saying he used the scar in his chest to pose as the Arisen. And what a scheme that turned out to be, eh? Now he gets to sit pretty on the best seat in the kingdom. Still, we'd have a hard time proving that he's not who he says he is. He's a wily one, that Dara. Always was careful not to leave behind a shred of evidence. But we can't have him thinking that he gets to go off and enjoy a peaceful life in the lap of luxury after breaking our code. Me thinks he needs something to remind him of the debt he owes us. Here, this should do the trick. Each day is the same as the one of Flora, I tell you. That all you wanted to ask? What can I say? Not many people bother with this place. Luckily for me, you were different. Knew I was right to bet in favor of the Arisen. Anyway, most visitors get fooled into going up to the manor. We send them packing with a trifle, and if they don't question it, good riddance. Anyone that complacent has got no business being a thief. We only train the rare few who make it here. Some might go so far as to say that the entire village was built around this spot. That all you wanted to ask? Aye, till next time, then. Now, as to the Maester's teaching, not sure you'll be able to use it to its fullest potential, but I'll show it to you. Since my day, the Lord... Whatever it is, I'll thank you to leave me out of it. Here to ask all of me, are you? What brings you here? You're the one then? Fie. I'd hoped I'd not be seeing you here. This bodes ill. I'll not take that from you! Thank you, sir. Just what I was waiting for. Here to ask all of me, are you? You're here. I've been waiting for you.
stuck. So yeah. this is where you were, Master. I searched high and low for you. Do take care not to stray so far next time. A reward? I warn you, I'm not easily impressed. Still won't say that to me. Ray, follow me. After all. Fear not, it is well in hand. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. You will need to infiltrate the palace to gather evidence of Deezer's misdeeds. I hesitate to ask something so dangerous of you. Yet I fear we have few other options. I have attempted to do the same through my own channels of Fornell. Though, I have yet to uncover so much as a whisper of her plots. Would that I could undertake the task myself. But my station prohibits me from reckless action. What say you, your majesty? Might I ask this task of you? I shall ensure that the door to the Queen Regent's office is open between midnight and dawn. Pray use that time to conduct your investigation. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty. Have you divined aught of the false sovereign, your majesty? This appears to be a bill calling for the arrest of a man named Dara. But hold a moment. Does this man's countenance not bear an uncanny resemblance to that of the false sovereign? Hmm. I see. If your majesty is certain that the two are one and the same, then I am convinced as well. However, I'm afraid this paper alone does not constitute sufficient proof. Ah, but of course. I surmise your majesty intends to post the bill and invite suspicion. A clever plan. The Queen Regent will be forced to deny any connection to our new sovereign, yet will be unable to remove the bill from the public eye. Furthermore, it will serve as an attestation to Dara's existence, which shall remain an undeniable truth till the man resurfaces. And all the while, the doubts lurking in the hearts of the citizenry will continue to deepen. A clever ploy indeed. I shall attend to this matter personally. I have no doubt that this bill would prove its worth in due course. You have my gratitude, Your Majesty. Your aid has been invaluable. So, the false sovereign operates at the behest of Queen Regent Deesa. The spider has woven her web rather carefully. Okay, so. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what we'll do for this episode. Um, and we'll see you next one.